friends, this is Doris Sander and we're having an awesome rainstorm and you probably can't hear it, but it makes me happy. So I thought I would video it while it's going on. I mean, not video the storm, but video my Hobonichi while I'm listening to the storm. So yes, I finally have enough pages in my little Hobonichi to share another video. I don't know if you saw that, that was the cat run past, but I've had another, I think I shared these two pages in the last video, but I've had another brainstorm with my Hobonichi, so I've been doing Instagram challenges in it. Um, I have the FMS photo a day, this 30 days of Bible lettering, 31 days of watercolor with a U, because it's a British spelling, this badass women, and that one they put the month tag on it so this one was may rock your handwriting the hobonichi challenge oh my god my cat oh <laughs> and the plan with me challenge buddy so yeah so those are some of the challenges that i've been doing in my hobonichi this month so this one was amelia Earhart. so i found this vintage photograph um not photograph but the vintage card with the airplane on it and i think this was rock your handwriting that's a little picture of me uh, nice strawberries i love this quote i think that turned out cute buddy stop it buddy's shaking my my camera buddy oh that's buddy <laughs> A little pain in the butt <laughs> um, and who's this Rosa Parks these are all from that um, badass women challenge so my schedule that was I think from the rock your handwriting too or no this was the rock your handwriting that's alphabet here so I don't know that was one of the prompts anyway and then this I think this is my favorite um, this might have been the watercolor challenge, but this is watercolors to make a planet. And then I doodled the little astronaut. And that must be a sticker. Yeah. Yeah. And this was the Hobonichi challenge was a paper clip. I like how that turned out. It kind of looks real. My door. That's a sticker. Washi tape. Madeline Albright. That was the one that day. This woman was really cool. Hedy Lamar. She was um, a famous actress back in the day and an inventor. She invented some aspect of radar. I thought it was really cool. Um, this is me having paint, paint droplet issues, so I just blew on it instead. <laughs> so, and I doodled the little seahorse and beach ball. And this, oh, this is my favorite too, the whale. I think he turned out so cute. And then I went ahead. Oh my god, my cat's crazy. I think he likes thunderstorms as much as I do. Um, then I doodled the beach scape behind it. Because I remember my brother and I would doodle ocean scapes um, sitting in church a lot. We were from Florida, so makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Serena Williams was the quote that day. And then this is Marie Curie, famous scientist. And this is supposed to be a cloud. Um, I think it was either the watercolor or Hobonichi challenge. I can't remember which, but I was really proud of it at the time. And then when I saw it, like from a distance, I was like, that looks like a big blob, but it was fun. I tried that salt technique, which was cool. You can see some of it in there. So yeah. And oh, I put, she blinded me with silence. With science, I mean. You remember that song from the 80s? So funny. And then Maya Angelou. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Excellent book if you've never read it. I loved that book a lot. But, um, I don't know. This, I don't, I don't like the birdcage motif. Like, I know it's popular and vintage stuff and everything, but I don't know. I don't like the caged bird mentality. Um, and then this is a fuchsia. 
I tried to blend colors and I'm not very good at it, so it's kind of murky there, but I thought it was cute. And then this one is the watercolor challenge with Cerulean. Cerulean, yep, that blue. I like this too. I thought this turned out cute. I put the Bible verse there and then I um I drew the little lamb on just copy paper and then cut him out and pasted him down with the washi tape grass. And I did that because I knew that I couldn't draw the sheep over the washi tape grass and also because the um Japanese quote was behind it and so that wouldn't it looked better if I drew it separately and then added it. And this was tissue paper. It was another challenge. And Clara Barton was the woman for the day. And then Winston Churchill. I can't remember what I had at him because he's definitely not a badass woman, but <laughs> there was a reason, I'm sure. I love this washi tape. It's MT brand. I use it a lot. And this one was um, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Maria Sotomayor. And I think this was her college, like I think Harvard. And this is a picture of her as a child. I thought it was neat to think, you know, I wonder if she had such big dreams when she was a little girl. And then this is my new Chotsky Bell sticker. So cute. I think this, this was a challenge about travel. Yeah, I just, I like adding all the different challenges because I can't always think of events from my day. My mind doesn't hold that much information. So I like prompts a lot. This one was Harriet Tubman. And that quote turned out nicely. I like the ones where I take the time and put different colors in. And this is another cute um, washi tape, Little Red Riding Hood. That one is, um, oh, Shinzi Kato. I love that artist. Yeah. And Annie Oakley. And that cracked me up. There's another song lyric. <laughs> this cracked me up because she, um, at the age of 15, I didn't know this, but, you know, I read a little bit about their bi biographies when I'm putting them in here. And she beat the the star in the Buffalo Wild West, she beat him in a shooting contest at the age of 15, and then she ended up marrying the guy later. <laughs> well, that was funny. But all of these are printed, I've been printing them on my Epson Photomate, but I've been using regular copy paper, because I don't, the photo paper is way too thick, I don't want to put it in my Hobonichi, but the copy paper is okay. Florence Nightingale, and I have finally mastered water watercolor droplets. I figured out that I need to use my big brush. So this is a new brush. So you can see it. Is it going to focus? Yeah, there you go. This is, I mean, it's not top of the line or anything, but it's one of those that you buy individually. So um, it's much higher quality. But I just saturated the tip with a lot of water before getting the color and then my sister said to tap it. She's an art teacher so she knows these things. <laughs> but anyway, I finally, I think the bigger um, brush helped a lot with that. To have more water in the bristles to splatter with. Um, and this one was, uh, I'm, I went away from my challenge thing to do this one. This was the day that I got the new watercolor paint, the fuchsia colored one, magenta as Gabriel calls it, my son. <laughs> the day I got that in my gauche watercolors, or however you pronounce those, but I wanted to play with those, so I put those in there real quick. A little quote in a flower. So that was fun. So that actually happened on the 14th. The rest of these did not get done on the day that the page is dated. And then yesterday I finished these last two and I just did these real quick. Um, I didn't do a bunch of challenges with these. I just did the two women and then journaled um, some topics. So like this one was 
I don't know her name. Ki Jean Jin? Ki, Ki Jin, maybe? I don't know. But she was a famous um, feminist um, suffragist activist in China back in the day. And I loved what she said. Don't tell me women are not the stuff of heroes. That's just awesome. But this one, um, I did the Get Messy prompts with Ombre. That's how I say it anyway, Ombre, whatever. I did that. And then one of the journaling prompts from Get Messy was um, books you love, something to that effect. So I love a lot of books. <laughs> but I just focused on some of the Asian fiction that I've read. So um, Amy Tan is awesome. If you've never read her, I would suggest Joy Luck Club and The Bonesetter's Daughter. Those are just great. And then... Um, Memoirs of a Geisha was just a beautiful novel. I love that. Um, the Orphan Master's Son I read recently, and that was not a beautiful novel, <laughs> but it was really well written. I enjoyed it, but um, it was really hard to read. It's about um, the Korean communist regime, but a fictional account. And then, um, what is this other one? Oh, Linda Sue Park, she's another, she's a young adult author. She's won the Newbery for um, a single shard, which is good. But my favorite was My Name Was Kyoko. And I actually got her, I met her at a book signing and got her to sign one for my father. And my dad was in the Korean conflict, so I thought that was neat. And then this is Juliet Gordon Lowe, the founder of Girl Scouts. And I was a Girl Scout back in the day, so I just journaled a little bit about that. And her quote I thought was neat. The work of today is the history of tomorrow, and we are its makers. It's good to remember. And then this was um, a Get Messy prompt, too, just um, to make marks. So I just made marks with two different colors of green. So that is my little half-month flip through for May. And I hope to get the rest of May done next, well, this coming week and share that. I'm trying, I'm going to try my hardest since I'm off school to um, get this thing caught up because I think it would be awesome. This is the Avec version. So this first little book ends at the end of June. So I think it would be awesome to finish at the end of June and have it done when I put the new one in here. So yeah, I have a few more girls to hopefully get journaled soon. But thanks for watching, and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.